Now, I, I wasn't quite sure what people wanted to hear about. I was asked to talk about calibrations and so forth. So I've just picked out a few things to say. Uh, one thing I think it's worth knowing about is what um, we're trying to communicate with our version numbers and what goes on um, with our developments. Um, I try to keep uh, major developments to a concentrated period of about once a year. And these usually are so major that they present risky changes in the program. And they're released with a .o version number, like 2.3.2.0. Um, and so later versions with the same major number are going to have bug fixes to things that show up in there, and also any minor improvements that, that get rolled in. And so by the time you get to something with a digit like 2 in the last digit, um, it's probably quite stable. So if you are concerned about stability and not having to upgrade frequently due to bugs, you would want to go for these later minor versions, uh, wait till they come out. But upgrading is generally recommended, um, especially if you're using Navigator, because that's sort of always under a little bit more tweaking. And as you heard already, there's more tweaking going on right now. Um, now, the latest version has a, an ins installer called install.bat. And it does a couple of important things. It copies just what's needed, because there's been sort of a mushrooming of, of uh, plug-in dills and things like that recently. And it also cleans up the old dills that were used in previous versions. So that should help when you, when you go and use that. So to upgrade, it's simply a matter of, of uh, getting the package and running it. And it will unzip to a folder named, let's get my little pointer option set. Uh, and it was un, uh, named by the version name that's inside the program file serial AM folder. And you go into that folder and find installed out that, and you click on it, and it will take care of copying all the stuff that's up to the upper directory. At that point, this folder and any other ones like that can be deleted. There's no files from there that are used by the running version. And the other point uh, is that all calibrations and settings are valid after an upgrade. Um, uh, if you have to downgrade for some reason, you will find that the first time you run, you get one great big message summarizing all the new settings that it couldn't, I had no idea what they were, that were put out by the newer version. But those will go away and then things will be okay again. Okay, uh, just a few things about setting up the program. Um, there's two distinct approaches to this. Um, for FEI users, they send me the questionnaire, and I set up some starting fo property files. But they really start from scratch in terms of the calibrations and the pixel sizes that go in the property file. Um, and distinct from that, the JOL installations usually start with a property and a calibration file that's based on another installation from a similar uh, combination of scope and cameras. Now, almost all these installations are done by JUL, um, but some users have done it themselves. And Yop has written a sort of additional guide to how to start with the files that we give them and go through the calibration. Because all those things do need recalibration, but to have the thing starting approximately correct is important to the JULs. Um, so the setup instructions in, in the help manual are exhaustive and they try to explain what each step is needed for so you can decide whether you really need it. And there's also this business about categorizing them as priority one and priority two. Now, I already have, I always have reservations when I look back in there about that categorization because um, you really need to do just about everything that's relevant to your use of the program to get the best results. But um, I can understand how some prioritization is helpful for uh, not feeling like you're immersed in this operation for, for a day or two with no end in sight. 